Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Yesterday was a wild day of footies on FC24. We started with a rivals glitch and ended with the best SBC of footies, which we talked about yesterday. Guys, there is a lot to cover and a lot going on with this game at the moment. Plus, is EA going to bring back icon player picks today so that we can put all this fodder that we're getting into something good we're going to talk about that and everything going on with the best crafting strategies right now on fc24 if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's start by looking at yesterday's content it was an insane w day but it started off with a really weird scenario with division rivals i think it's still ongoing a little bit i'm not entirely sure if it's still working but this was all over the internet yesterday guys it is the glitch objectives glitch a glitch xp glitch whatever you want to call it basically it was tweeted out by a couple of different people yesterday and it spread throughout the community um and it was basically a glitch that gives you the opportunity to complete objectives and get xp and even progress in evolutions without even winning a game it was really crazy i saw people posting clips on twitter and on youtube clips and stuff like that basically you would go into a match and you would score three own goals and it would count as games played for your objectives and for your evolutions and you would get a little bit of XP for that. So it's honestly crazy that this is even a thing. Um, I think it's been patched, I guess, because it sounds like people are deleting their tweets about it and it sounds like as well people are getting banned, but I'm really unsure about that at the moment. So yesterday I went in and actually played Division Rivals. I did not do the glitch because guys, when it comes to gameplay glitches, what have we learned before? Remember the Trickster Plus glitch, weekly glitches that have happened in previous years ea ban stuff real quick when it comes to gameplay glitches so i have heard from some of these tweets in here as well that people are beginning seven day bans and online bans so i don't know if those are super legitimate claims or what's going on there exactly i was not involved with doing the glitch but while the glitch was going on i logged in and tried playing some rivals games since everybody was scoring three own goals and quitting out of these games it was the easiest seven wins in rivals i only had to play two full games guys it was crazy so i was able to kind of take advantage of that in the moment a little bit of a mickey mouse run to my seven win rewards one more game and i could go into elite as well if i want to play more later on this week but that is the situation so i don't like taking advantage of glitches but i felt like there it was like everybody else is doing this glitch i can advance in rivals just by everybody quitting out of games kind of a crazy scenario but that is what is going on uh, i would not recommend spamming the glitch because you probably will get banned even if it's now in a couple of days time, I don't know. It's probably going to be something that we're watching and talking about still in the next couple of days because it was massive yesterday as like everybody in Rivals was doing it. Like it was impossible to load into a Rivals game and not get three own goals scored on or somebody trying to get you to score three own goals so they could get the win. It was madness. Anyways, let's get through the rest of the content first with talking about this evolution, evolution here, passing mastermind, which to me, this one, there's straight away when I look at the players in my club that could fit this, not a ton of great options here. I think the whole point of this evolution is to give a huge passing boost, right? Thierry Henry starts with 82 passing, goes up to 95 passing. It's a massive, massive boost in that department. You go up plus 13 in total on the passing stat. So this is really great for a player like a striker like Darwin Nunez or maybe a midfielder who is a little bit low on passing. It gives those passing play styles incisive pass and long ball pass plus. I think for me though, this evolution is just going to be great for a chain Evo later on down the line. There are a couple of really good chain Evos if you want to get this Rashford card. Of course, I know he has a level 22 free card. You can get this version though and have a little bit higher passing than his level 22 version has as you can see. This one has 96 shooting and 91 passing, and this one has 97 on both, but a lot lower uh, defense and a little bit lower physical. So that's the situation on the Rashford card. And then another double Evo, this Teo Hernandez into Technical Titan and then into Passing Mastermind with 99 pace. That one looks decent, but I think for me, I'm going to wait on this one, see what else comes out, see what else I can evolve in the next couple of days here through footies, evolutions, and then maybe I'll find somebody that I really want to put into that because right now, that one doesn't strike me as an insane Evo, but it is decent and it is a few games, not too many, and it is there. Now let's go to SBCs because this is where it was really kicking off yesterday. Of course, guys, we got to start with the player SBCs. Two player SBCs dropped yesterday, both English players and both 
the exact same price. Kind of crazy. Harry Maguire, 110,000 coins for a Manchester United. This was the one that was hinted at yesterday. A Manchester United center back. It's been a while since we had a Maguire card. Remember that POTM version of him that was really cheap earlier on in the year that was pretty good? Aerial plus, very needed as a center back, right? And six foot four. That means he is going to be pretty good in the air. Block plus, long ball pass, and slide tackle plus as well. He has anticipate, but he does not have intercept. He's got power header as well as well as pinged pass. So honestly, with all the fodder that's out right now, an 87 and an 88 rated squad is easy peasy to complete. It's not the most crazy SBC, but it is decent and it's basically free with the craft. So that's a decent card there. I have no complaints. Same thing with the Joe Cole, to be completely honest. Joe Cole, five star, four star. This is a guy that I packed his base version really early on in FC24. He was a really, really good card, especially when Trevelas were more OP. He does have Trevella Plus, uh, which is a little bit more, I guess, unusable now than it used to be. He's got Technical, Incisive, and Trickster, and uh, he as well is two squads, only 110,000 coins, and 86 and 87 rated squad right there. The only thing I will say about those two SBCs yesterday is it kind of gives me the vibes of how last week's SBCs were, right? The Okocha and the Kanu, the, the Scott, the Donovan, the Fakir, the Loftus Cheek, they were all cheap. They were all easy to complete, and sure, they were fun and they were decent cards, but not that crazy, right? Still, I'd rank Dybala, and I would definitely rank Butrogueno in terms of meta ahead of these cards, but again, the point is they're decent cards, and they're cheap. So that's kind of the situation there. Maguire's the most um, hyped one, but also this puts Maguire's SBC into uh, perspective. When you look at this card for 115,000 coins, and then you see that this Lucio is 15K, and you can actually put him into an evolution and make him even better, um, like, and that's a 75,000 coin evolution. I don't know, like, is that Maguire card really worth it? But it's free. So there's that. I don't think center backs are dropping a ton just because that card's really cheap and it's not making people sell center backs to go put that Maguire in their team since a lot of people are probably running untradeables at this rate anyway. So that's this, the situation with the player SBCs. Let's go to the upgrade packs though because this is really where it started kicking off. Guys, the 84 times 10 returned. EA did what I really was hoping they would do. They just brought it back with five times per day being the number of repeats that we have on this 84 times 10. Exact same requirements with the team of the week, team of the season, uh, and then an 84 rated squad. Easy peasy. We love to see it. There's nothing else to say here except this is a huge dub. This is phenomenal. This is going to help us pack so many more higher rated cards to do SBCs like the Butrogueno and hopefully a couple of other player SBCs that come out like that during the week that are more squads, higher rated, something to kind of grind and craft towards. Maybe today's icon player pick, hopefully, as well. This would help with, but just a chance at packing the footies cards and the batch two player cards as well. I mean, there's not much else to say here except this is phenomenal. We also had the 86 times 3 footies re-release batch 2 pack that was dropped yesterday. This one's okay. 85 and 86. Guys, we have fodder like crazy right now anyway, so you might as well give it a shot. You could pack a Team of the Year Ronaldo. You could pack a Shulmany Make Your Mark. All those cards that are in re-release Team 2. So that is decent. I don't think it's crazy, but it is there. Now, the big one is, of course, the best SBC, the Crafting upgrade but i actually have a couple thoughts on this i'm not going to start doing this just yet and i want to talk about why or at least full sending this crafting upgrade of course we got exactly what we wanted the 77 times five is the pack so you're getting five rares every single time you have to turn in 10 commons and one rare absolutely phenomenal it's the exact same sbc that we had last time the crafting was out and the objective that lines up with it is really good as well 84 times 20 final reward and you're getting rewards every five completions and then towards the end it's, it goes to every 10 completions you have 84 seven times fours in here 85 7 87 times 2, 84 times 10s, multiple times. Great packs again inside of this crafting objective. You absolutely love to see it. So, with this being out, the question is, and with all of us having these packs to open, ready to grind, I'm sure a lot of you guys have even completed many of those upgrades already. What is the optimal grind right now? Because we still have the 82 plus player picks, right? This is kind of similar to how it was last time the crafting objective dropped, right? If you need golds right now, first thing I would tell you to do is make sure you are doing the daily gold upgrade. You can do it 10 times a day. It is key to helping you get um, rare and non-rare golds back in your club. If you even have to build from the ground up below that, do the ultimate silver, ultimate bronze and silver to get you some commons there. 
as well. You can do that, but do your daily golds. And then once you get the commons, which a lot of us have from exchanges or whatever packs, if you have commons and rares, what are you going into next? Honestly, right now, before the 82 plus player pick goes away, I would go into the 82 plus player pick first. I really good. I really would guys. I think that I would go into this SBC first. Um, and I would put my gold commons and rares in here. Now I know the problem for a lot of people right now is you're running out of rares. So with that being said, I would still do some of the crafting upgrades right now, but before the 82 plus player pick goes away, I think you just got to keep doing a lot of them. I think that's the main craft because once we get to Monday, we might get the 81 plus player pick back and that's going to require more rares. So actually I think doing the 82 plus pick right now would be the number one priority. And then once we get the new player pick coming out on Monday, boom, look at that first one, 88 Cancelo. Love to see it. That's why we love the 82 plus picks. Once this goes away and the new one comes out, then you can focus more on the crafting uh, up upgrade and then maybe less on the 81 plus player pick and you'll get more rares, which will help you do the 81 plus pick since it requires more rares. That's assuming that the 81 plus pick of last week is going to come back this week. So I hope that makes sense. I wanted to kind of explain that why I'm going to be doing more 82 plus picks right now and then saving more of those crafting upgrades for later this week, just to give myself a better chance at packing all the cards than an 82 plus player player pick can give. Of course, once you get higher ratings as well, like let's say you get 86s and above, exchanges are great for those. But of course, make sure those 83s, 4s, and 5s are going into the team league player pick. I think is still worth doing just to have some of those in your club for the 84 times 10s since you need five tots or team of the week every single day. And then of course, all of your other fodder that you don't want to put in exchanges, go ahead and put into other SBCs and craft. I still think it is very important though to do the one or, or off exchange. One or two off exchanges will help you get those gold commons back into your club so you can keep rinsing through the player pick. So that's kind of the best craft at the moment. Um, yeah, that's the best craft. And it's insane, right? The fodder, unbelievable. You're going to have so many packs, so many player picks. It's going to feel endless. And we absolutely love that. Now with those SBCs, let's talk SBC fodder for a second because our favorite low rated fodder it moved again yesterday. Remember last night in the video, we were looking at 84s. What were they? Minimum price, 1.1 to 1.2K. They went all the way to 2.2K at content. Easy 1,000 coin per card profit every single day. It's going to happen again today. Bid on 84s for 1.1K, which is, by the way, minimum price on bid. Pretty easy to get those. You can pay 1.2 if you really need to. And then list those up at 2.2 to 2.5. An hour before content, during content, after content, that's going to be your peak price for those. I would do those and I would do 85s. 85s are also down at minimum price at 2.2, 2.1K. And they went from 2.2 all the way to 3.1, 3.2K yesterday as well. So same thing with those, with the 84 times 10 refreshing, other SBCs coming out today. I think those cards would move. I think those are really good watches in terms of investments. Also, GG's, as we noticed last night in the video, that TOTS cards were dirt cheap at like 35,000 coins. They peaked at 44 to 45,000 coins after content yesterday. That's a 10,000 coin swing. Right now, it looks like TOTS cards are back down under 40K or right around there. Also, for the TOTS moments, TOTS live cards, you can keep a close eye on those. Actually, are these like 36, 37K? How cheap are these? Okay, these are looking like they're around the low to mid 30s. I bet you can buy these too. If you want to buy these for the mid 30s, if you can get them on bid or snipes for 35,000 coins, I would absolutely buy these. And they're probably going to 40 plus today, especially if we get a new icon player pick that requires them. People, yes, of course, these cards are in packs, but people need these, man. For like all the SBCs, EA keep dropping. They keep requiring team of the week or team of the season cards. So those cards are going to continue to be good investments and flip throughout the week. They're going to move every single day, but they're probably going to start to go up further and fluctuate less after today. So if you want to get in on some tots, I think that'd be a decent place to invest right now as well. Now, speaking of the market real quick, of course, the footies cards are down. You can see George Best is 829K. Last night when I was looking at him, he was a mill. Yeah, he was 1.1 and he's dropped a lot since yesterday. That was to be expected as always. I think almost all of these cards are down. Let was um, around a mill. Cantona's 2.2. I mean, that's as low as he was last night. Then he spiked. Wow. Rodman's 530. 
Hansen is still very, very expensive. I think Rolfo is back down to like 1.6 mil. Now that's kind of a low price for her. And then, of course, all the cards that are in packs, batch two re release. Ronaldo went from 430K. He's now 330K. So big price drops across all of the cards that are in packs. What might have actually been a part of that as well in making those prices drop was the fact that EA dropped a big store pack yesterday, guys. It was a 725,000 coin scam of a pack. I mean, guys, this is really not worth the coins. If you're trying to open the biggest and best store packs in here for the end game, um, this is really not worth your money at all. Honestly, 725,000 coins, it's an 85 times 15. I still stand by the 600K pack that is the 83 times 100. I can't open it because it's already gone since I opened it once already. That is the best pack to be opening right now, in my humble opinion, because you get 100 players in it. You're undoubtedly going to pack two footies. I think all of the um, 600K packs, the 8300 that we opened, had at least one or maybe even two footies inside of it. So if you really want the chance at a footies, you could do this, but you're just not getting as many players that an 83 times 100 is going to give you. So that's my recommendation there. I would not open the 575 or the 725 at all, but since people are probably doing that, since those are the big ticket packs, biggest chance at packing, maybe a Hanson, maybe the Pele card, that is probably why you're seeing some prices drop on the market as well. Now, we've got all this SPC fodder from the 84 times 10s, from the 82 plus picks, and the crafting upgrade. What are we crafting? Well, if you're not working on Butragueno, I still think it's a great SPC to be crafting through because fodder is just everywhere. At first, I didn't like the price. It still is a lot, but... Fodder is everywhere, and you got to put it somewhere. It's worth it to put it into this guy, in my opinion. Now, today, we're probably going to have another opportunity or another place to put that fodder, and that would be a new icon pick, hopefully, right? We had the icon player pick two weeks ago. Last week, they gave us the icon pack. Now, it was a lot cheaper because it was a pack, 84 and 87 rated squad. I believe the icon pick was, what, 87, 88, and 90 rated squads? Bring it back. Bring it back because speaking of fodder once again, like the difference right now between an 88 rated or at least an 89 rated and a 95 rated, they're almost the same price. 89s are 13k and 80 or 94s are also 14k. 95s are a little bit more than that, they're like 17, 18, 19k. So 94s are basically 1,000 coin more expensive than 89s. Give us a big time icon pack today that's more expensive because we have the fodder to craft through it, EA. That's what I'm saying. Now, the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is there's only been one set of footies icons released and then have left packs. Like, of course, you have the footies icons that are in packs right now that includes Pele. Are EA really going to want to release a player pick today that includes Pele in it from a current impact set of footies icon players, you know, best Cantona. It's a good set of icons this week. That seems a little too good to be true. We would love it if that happened. I'm just hoping that they do not bring anything back today with a hero pick. If they try to do some hero pick nonsense, nah, nah, get that out of here, EA. At the very least, refresh this pack and honestly... Whatever icon pick or pack they drop today, it probably needs to be repeatable another time because they know, they absolutely know, there's so much fodder. Everybody's crafting right now with the upgrade, with the objective packs, with the 82 plus picks. They know that there's a ton of cards and packs. They need to release it more times repeatable. They upped the 84 times 10, up that pack as well, or player pick, whatever we get today in that regard, so that we have more of them to craft through. Now, also today, we should be getting a player SBC, and I hope that we're going back to the icon world because the icon world with Butra gave us a pretty good card. Van Percy is added to come as a footies icon. This is the leak that we have right now. I'm curious to see if he is the card that drops today. I hope he's a card like this, maybe even a little bit better. As many 99 stats or close to 99 in those stats as possible. And we could have ourselves another maybe Butra-esque SBC. Maybe Van Percy's like a 750 to 900,000 coin SBC. Somewhere in there. Maybe he's 5-star, five 5-star five with a big pace boost. Of course, 99 shooting would be called. We'll have to see. That's the only player leak that is here at the moment right now. Let's open this 84 times 10. See how many specials we get. We do get a red walkout flare here. That is a... Is that a Dudek? No. Who is this? Juventus Chesney Gold. My mind blanks on the gold cards because I'm constantly thinking of the special cards that are in packs. And that was one goalkeeper, now center forward Raspadori. If you know, you know. And that's the only special card? Wait a second. This is the this is the first one that I opened, guys. Did they actually turn down the weight on the 84 times 10s and on the pack weight because they released so many more packs that just clocked? 
Oh, that just clocked. That better not have been a thing. Johnson just literally saw him play today. Let me turn in this Lissandro Martinez and do another one of these 84 times 10s really, really quick because I would like to try it one more time to test my theory of the 84 times 10s being slightly nerfed. I have to imagine that they... I don't know, it shouldn't be any different to be honest, but we can do so many picks and so many packs right now with the grind and the craft, especially with the crafting upgrade and the 82 plus picks that if the pack weight's been turned down even a little bit, you can still just rip through so many of them that you're gonna end up still packing crazy amounts of special cards. So boom, there's an 83 in there, 83, can I save one more 84? Hopefully, can I save two? I'm stingy in August almost. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna do it. There we go, I saved two, good to go. Let's get ourselves this pack open 84 times 10, a second time around. I'm gonna have to get through these five times a day now. I need to pack more team of the seasons, that's the key. If you can pack more team of the seasons from player picks from the crafting upgrade, then you don't have to rely on the team of the week player picks or crafting those SBCs. Here we go. Second time around, 84 times 10. The same flare. Who's this? Portuguese center mid, probably Bernardo. Wow, only one special card for these. Interesting. I was hoping to get specials. Um, Casemiro, it's foot birthday again. All right, the foot birthday luck must be in. Am I really just going to get one special card? I was really hoping for multiple. Man, all right, I'll take that. That's uh, three walkouts there. But that's kind of different from the 84 times 10s that we saw on uh, Friday when they were first released for the third time uh, or for the last time, three times repeatable. That's a bit mid. All right, we're going to have to do some more of those. I'm going to save those for today, hopefully be streaming today, do some more 84 times 10s, being crafting through the menus um, and ripping our packs as much as possible. I have a bunch in the store. You can see they're saved. I'm ready to pack. I'm ready to craft this Butrogueno and other SBCs today. So we'll save those for content today. But if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today, most likely, and in the video, if not always at the same time tomorrow. I appreciate you guys, man. Thanks for watching the vid. I will see you later. It's been Nate for the count. Have a great Sunday. Peace.